The year 2020 was a really difficult year for me personally, but 2021 topped it. It was possibly the most difficult year of my life, and I'm talking about my personal life. And I chose to share something very personal, very private this year on my Intuitive Tennis YouTube channel, and that was the passing of my dad, who happened to be a tennis coach as well. And I made the decision to feature more of my personal life in 2021. I wanted you guys to get to know me better. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a backstory. What happened around that time when my dad passed away, which was in late June. So this is the first time in my life where I didn't actually touch a tennis racket for three months. You guys probably didn't know this because my YouTube videos kept coming out, but I record well in advance and I literally did not touch a racket for three months. I was just grieving and trying to take care of my mom and many other things. And by the way, thank you so much for all the kind messages that you guys sent in my private email, uh, DM, and also in the comments section. You guys are great. And I wasn't really looking uh, for condolences with that video, but it meant so much to me that you guys uh, reached out. But anyway, if you remember the video that I released, shortly prior to my dad passing away was this great video that took me three months to make which was getting back in shape and i got myself into really really a good shape i lost 15 pounds all this stuff that i was doing in the video was for real i was training every day and i was living a really clean lifestyle and it worked i got myself in fantastic shape and then maybe two or three weeks after that my dad died and i stopped doing everything i didn't touch a racket i didn't work out i basically uh, didn't do anything because i had so many other obligations and naturally what happened was i am back out of shape again so you're probably thinking nick are you going to make another getting back in shape video because i am going to get back in shape i am not going to allow myself to be out of shape i started training again i'm living a super clean lifestyle and i might or might not record it i don't know yet i don't want to duplicate my contact i don't like doing repetitive contact if i already covered the subject i don't like doing that subject again for example on my channel you will never find uh, 20 videos about a forehand topspin or 20 videos about the kick serve it's always going to be something new it's always going to be something different one exception is i might redo some of the topics that i did very early on on youtube when i sucked really bad in front of the camera that first year from intuitive tennis today i want to talk about the forehand grip so it turns out there are five forehand grips you can choose from which one is the best Let's find out. Some of those videos, I am gonna make better versions of it. Like I already made a video about the serve is not a throwing motion. And then I made another one called the serve is definitely not a throwing motion. So my, I might do some of that from time to time, but at Intuitive Tennis, I like the content to be original and I do not like repeating myself on the court and I do not like making repetitive content on YouTube. And here's the thing that I'm super proud of guys is the fact that my dad was able to be alive and when my YouTube channel was blowing up because 2021 was an unbelievable year for Intuitive Tennis. So let me read you some of the stats, uh, what happened this year at Intuitive Tennis. So in 2021, the channel got 12.5 million views. Uh, that's a lot of views. That's averaging over a million views a month. That is absolutely insane. Most of the views came from the United States, Canada, and the UK. I also received 15,000 comments this is unbelievable guys i love when you guys are engaged in the comment section and i don't care if you're writing bad comments all comments are welcomed at intuitive tennis and i want to encourage you to voice your opinion in my comment section whatever your opinion may be even if it's contrary to mine and also i received 232 thousand likes i never asked for likes but likes do obviously help the algorithm so thank you guys uh, for liking all those videos this year it feels like i'm mansplaining a little bit too much that's an intuitive tennis inside joke you guys that are hardcore fans will understand what i'm talking about so let me uh, switch camera positions real quick okay so i'm going to run through the top five videos on the intuitive tennis youtube channel in 2021 and coming in at number five is another beginner tennis lesson this time was with my student chris and this video got 192 thousand views and these beginner lessons are so important because i couldn't tell you how many emails i get from beginner tennis players who have started playing tennis very recently because of my videos and this is a great motivation for me to continue making beginner level content some of you guys might complain about this a little bit because you're an advanced player but i think everybody can learn a little bit from a beginner tennis lesson. maybe you have some problem on a specific stroke and sometimes it's good to recalibrate that stroke 
and start from scratch. So there's gonna be more beginner related content on the Intuitive Tennis YouTube channel. And coming in at number four is me playing a set against a division one player while wearing a microphone. And you guys love this video. It got the 224,000 views and a lot of you guys are asking me to make another one. I would love to make another video, but you know what happened? Remember my mindset for tennis video where I was walking around selfie style, recording myself and I stepped in a hole and rolled my ankle? My ankle is still hurting from that. I never really took the time off for my ankle to heal properly, so my ankle is destroyed. On top of that, I got a really bad shoulder. My shoulder sometimes locks up on me. I can't hit forehands, I can't serve at all. And also, I'm really, really out of shape right now. I'm probably in some of the worst shape that I've ever been. So it is not out of the question. I'm definitely gonna do more content like that of myself playing, but I gotta get myself in better shape first. And coming in at number three is the queen of intuitive tennis with 226,000 views is Anna's first match. And you know what's so funny about this video? It came out at the same time as Wimbledon. Some of you guys were saying that you prefer to watch Anna play a beginner tennis match than watching Wimbledon matches. So here's the thing about recreational tennis. It can be so entertaining to watch. I used to watch recreational matches back in Germany at my club all the time and I was so entertained by these matches. But there was What's important for these matches to be entertaining is a backstory. If you watch two random recreational players play tennis, it is not so entertaining. But if you know a little bit more of a backstory, now all of a sudden it can be extremely entertaining. So I'm definitely going to feature more recreational level matches of all kinds on the Intuitive Tennis YouTube channel. And coming in at number two is the king of Intuitive Tennis, Shamir, with 312,000 views is the forehand topspin lesson. A lot of you guys love Shamir and are asking me, Nick, why don't you make more videos with Shamir? Unfortunately, Shamir had a really bad foot injury this year and he was out for many, many months. However, he is back on the court training. He's not 100%, he has to be very careful, but we are recording other videos. We got a great surf power lesson uh, coming very shortly. So don't worry, Shamir will be featured quite heavily on the Intuitive Tennis YouTube channel. Guys, my ankle hurts really bad if I stand in one spot too long, so I'm back in my main explaining stance, I'm gonna tell you what the number one YouTube video was on the Intuitive Tennis channel in 2021. And many of you are probably thinking it must be something with Anna, right? No, this year the title goes to the king, Shamir. The short ball lesson with Shamir got 458,000 views. Now here's the weird thing about the top two videos on the Intuitive Tennis channel this year. Both of those videos were quite lengthy. These are long videos and a lot of people often complain, oh, videos are too long, they're too boring, they must be short. But obviously this year, some of the highest performing videos on the Intuitive Tennis channel are super long videos. The top three are each almost a half hour long. So in the future, I'm not gonna be afraid at all to post long videos. I'm gonna take this opportunity to explain the situation with two of my YouTube channels. So, some of you guys might not know, but I have a separate YouTube channel called Intuitive Tennis Shorts. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. On my main channel, which is Intuitive Tennis, the videos are going to be coming out as usual every Tuesday and every Friday. Yes, I have made some changes this year where I was uploading more frequently, but starting now, and I've already been doing it for uh, two or three weeks, I'm only going to upload twice a week, and it's going to be long form content. It's going to be at least eight minutes long. It might be half hour long or even 45 minutes in some cases. On my other channel, however, I'm gonna post almost daily, but some of those videos might be shorts. So shorts are videos that are under a minute. They're like Instagram style, TikTok style videos. I'm gonna do those, I enjoy making those, and I'm gonna to continue to do so. But also on the Intuitive Tennis Short channel, there are gonna be some videos that are a minute long, two minutes long, three minutes, or maybe even five minutes long. So overall, I'm not gonna restrict myself to only making shorts. I'm also gonna make some longer, shorter videos. And I'm gonna be uploading on Intuitive Tennis Shorts super frequently. I'm gonna to try to do it every day. So on the main channel, Intuitive Tennis, Tuesday and Friday, on the Shorts channel, it's gonna be every day. It's gonna be a mixture of short videos under a minute and some videos that are gonna be in landscape format that are gonna be longer than one minute, all the way up to five, six minutes. So I'm gonna close the year 2021 as the most successful year on the Intuitive Tennis YouTube channel so far. I want to thank everyone who has liked my video, everyone who has commented on my video, and also everyone 
who has watched my video. This year has been very difficult, but I'm back. I'm super motivated to keep going, and there's a lot of exciting stuff coming your way in 2022. I'm wishing everyone a happy new year.